Hello and welcome to the Chris King Soccer Coach podcast or YouTube channel. Today we are going to look through a drill from training sessions for soccer coaches volume one. Um, if you're new to this podcast, um, I'm releasing a training session um, for senior players, so 18 above, decent skill level. And I'm also releasing um, drills and coaching tips for uh, um, amateur coaches that coach junior um, level, so at ages five to 10. And all of these are aimed at grassroots soccer coaches. So if you're a beginner coach, grassroots, volunteer, parent, anything that comes into that bracket, uh, these uh, these drills and coaching advice are going to be for you. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, if you need any books, um, head over to Amazon or anywhere on the internet, just search Chris King Soccer and you'll see me come up. Excuse me, now there are a few of my books there, Coaching Kids Soccer Volume 1. Soccer Rondos, training sessions for soccer coaches. I've got about 13 titles out now, or you can head over to my website. And I've also got a coaching course for kids um, on utme.com. All right, so this is what we're looking at today, training sessions for soccer coaches, volume one. Now, I won't break down a whole training session for you today. I'll save that for another lesson. Um, that's it there. That's how I... Um, go through it so um, yeah hang on tight and I'll explain that in another one but all I want to do is just go through um, a simple drill with you for starters so you get um, you get the hang of what uh, what this is all about so session one supporting the attack parts of the player's game that will be improved from this session are supporting the attack pressing conditioning midfield players, movement and awareness, plus a bit of shooting. So this drill has got a bit of everything. Now, um, all my training sessions um, for senior players start with a rondo, which is just a small game, and it has an overload of players on one team. So it could be 4v1, 6v2, anything like that. And it's usually in a small circle or a small square or rectangle. All right, so... I'll just describe what we've got here. So we've got a rectangle 30 by 15 yards and we've got five players in each half. Okay. Now we've got spare balls spread around the outside. I'm big on that. You don't want ch players chasing one ball all the time. So if you can have as many balls as you can spread around there so there's continuous play. And then once they run out of balls, they can stop and gather them. All right. So what we have here is... Um, five players and all the aim of the game is to keep possession in that half. So we've got five um, black players in one half, five white players in the other half. And as soon as uh, they start the first pass, a player from the other side can go in and try and win the ball. So in this case, white player number one will head over as soon as a pass is made and they're trying to win the ball, win possession off, off the black team. And once that happens, they can either pass, um, they pass the ball back to the other side or the players can even just grab a ball from there and play starts. And then a black player head across, heads across to the other side. All right. Now, the main points um, apart from that are after every three passes, another player can go and help their teammate press and try and win the ball. So once they have one, two, three passes, um, like this, for example, player one passes there, boom, boom, boom. One, the white player hasn't won the ball yet, so a teammate can come across, and then that makes it 2v5. All right. So nice little simple rondo. It gets the players engaged. Um, so like we said, they're pressing, passing, uh, fitness as well, and it gets their brains in gear. Usually you use a rondo at the start of a training session and just gets a lot of engagement. Players, before they have to, before you work on a bigger, bigger game, um, rondos are great to get started with. All right, so we'll just go back to the start. In all my drills, I have it broken down into a purpose and also set up and then a description of the drill. And then I also have um, coaching notes so you know what to really focus on. And there's also a progression. So I can norm you normally change it to make it harder or easier. 
All right, so I'm not going to go through everything in here, but I'll just give you a quick overview. So the purpose of this rondo is to improve passing in tight areas and improve the press. So I think you can agree with me that that would um, accomplish this. So passing in tight areas, so you've got five players passing and then we want to improve the press. So you've got players going over there to press the ball. Okay. Um, and that's the setup, which I've already gone through. The drill, two teams of five. Um, every pass, every three passes equals a goal. And after each goal, another player from the white team can come across. All right. Key points, quality of the pass and make sure that the attack is spread out. Right, so you don't want to be on top of each other. You want to spread out as much as you can to make it harder for the defenders to press and win the ball. Um, tell defenders not to get split. So if you get two defenders across, you want them to keep nice and tight to each other. Don't make it easy for the attackers to pass, pass the ball um, through the two defenders or three defenders, however many have come across. Tell the attackers to move the ball quickly, spread out, keep their heads up, and split the defenders where possible. Okay, now I've got here, this drill works well for 3v3 up to 6v6. Um, change the width, width of the field accordingly. Okay. And then we've just got a breakdown. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. That's the first drill for you. It's a 5v5 uh, pressing, keeping off a rondo drill. Uh, this, I'm Chris King. This has been um, a drill from Training Sessions for Soccer Coaches, Volume 1. That's it there. Um, pick it up on Amazon if you want. You can get it in paperback form or you can also get it as an ebook. Okay, thanks for listening.